at youtube.com slash mg free guitar lessons and you're tuned in on the top 50 greatest guitar riffs some of them are uh, requests from students some are from some subscribers and some are from me so they're not necessarily these monster riffs sometimes they're just popular riffs or, or hit songs that had some some catchy riffs in it and that was the go-go's with our lips are sealed and i gotta put some you know some girl rock songs out there i've had a few people ask about it so we're going to jump right into this, I'll get up closer, it's short, simple, well if you're a brand new beginner it may not be extremely simple, but they're using power chords for most of it, and what I did was I connected two guitar parts, so you get the, the main hook in there which was the, okay, because that's actually done on another guitar, but we're, we're connecting it in there, it's a little bit of a jump, but you'll be okay, subgroup this stuff and you'll see. Okay, here we go. It's starting on 3rd fret low E and 5th fret on the A. And you're going to go uh, palm muting on that, right there. Across the bridge. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So it's 7 times. Make sure that you're hearing 2 strings. And then an open E. Those are little things that people tend to forget sometimes. If you don't, you end up going eight times and just jumping there, and it just makes things flow. It's not a key part, that little open. And then seven times on this power chord, the first fret low E, third fret A, and go seven times there. Okay, so let's try it up to there. that open coming off of that and that's really just to fill the spot the transition and then go 3a 5d so that's usually the fingers I use you can do it like that too it's not wrong either way and then we'll do eight of those palm muted so everything's palm muted so far might be nine yeah, I'd go nine times there. And then we're going to jump to the second guitar part, which is the... So, index, first finger. Peace. And what you want to do is put your middle finger on eight on the high E, put your first finger on seven on the high E. And you're probably wondering, why put both of them down? Well, the real question is, why not? Because why would you want to go... If you're behind... Oops, drop my pick. If you're behind a, a note here that you got to go to, it's only going to register the, the one that's furthest this way, right? So if you can help yourself, then do it. And this is one of those examples. So you pick that. Lift, all you got to do now is just lift your middle finger off. And you're ready to go. So, And then middle finger will catch 8 on the B. I'm still leaving this down because we're going to do it again. If we weren't, I could lift it. You still could lift it if you want. But it's better to leave it. And what I'm doing, call it a pivot or a shift, when I go back to repeat it, got that 8B with the middle finger, and then flatten your knuckle down. It, it, it eliminates having to do an extra movement, is why I'm saying that. As opposed to, and lifting it to do that. Okay, so, that's all there is to that one, guys. So if you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe. I'll bring you free guitar lessons. You can make requests. And you're in the middle of the top 50 greatest guitar riffs. This one just kind of a, it's not like it's some extremely technical riff, but it's catchy. It takes a lot of people back to the day, and you don't find a lot of go-go guitar lessons. So anyway, subscribe and all that good stuff. Keep practicing, and we'll see you next time.